Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbite from Chile, Arizona. Now that the sunshine has fallen and uh, the coolness has appeared. This week's bite is entitled The Nobility of Weirdness for the week November 7th, 2011. Dr. Nasser Gamey, the director of the Moods Disorders program at Tufts Medical Center, has just written a book called A First-Rate Madness. It's about the links between leadership and mental illness. Dr. Gamey, a psychiatrist, says that Abraham Lincoln was depressed, Winston Churchill was bipolar, both JFK and FDR were manic, and goes further to find sickness in business leaders like CNN founder Ted Turner, social activists like Martin Luther King and Mahatma Gandhi, and military commanders like Union Army General William Tecumseh Sherman. Then, after diagnosing them as mentally ill, Gamey goes on to say we should stop stigmatizing these people as sick or healthy, and perhaps even acknowledge that a little bit of peculiarity in color could be an asset in leadership. I say let's stop diagnosing our colorful peculiarity as diseases, because this is why 25% of all Americans are diagnosed with a mental illness. Psychiatrists have succeeded in labeling anything peculiar or unusual in your thinking or behavior as a disease, and it's ridiculous. Lincoln, Churchill, Martin Luther King, and Gandhi were exactly what we needed in great leaders, what we need now. They found a way to mobilize their unique talents, and they got us through hard times, and they lifted our spirits. If they were alive today, Dr. Gamey's diagnoses would have resulted in their being chemically subdued with drugs. We need to stop the pervasive psychiatric labeling of unusual styles and behaviors as mental illness. And let's start celebrating the nobility of our weirdness. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Remember, we're all connected. Take care of yourself and each other. I say this for all my relations. Mitakwiasi.